6G mobile networks will radically transform what a network can do. 6G will fuse the human, physical and digital worlds. To build this future, we need to evolve the fundamental technologies that power our networks. So we will be uh, focusing on six uh, different uh, pillars or technologies, which will be the kind of the uh, foundation for 6G. And one of these uh, six foundations is uh, the AI native air interface. This proof of concept is uh, our uh, first implementation of an AI native air interface, where we are actually using AI solutions uh, to learn how to convey information over the air interface. This is uh, uh, like a fundamentally different way of implementing the network. So I think it is uh, pretty exciting that we can allow the network itself to learn what to do. The air interface is the wireless link between the mobile device and the base stations that interprets radio signals. It covers the processing needed for transmitting and receiving data over the air. We apply machine learning to certain aspects of the radio system. Through algorithms, the network learns to extract more information out of the received signals. Previously, there have been some limited uh, applications of different machine learning approaches, but uh, recently there have been so many advances in the field of machine learning and, and artificial intelligence that now we have a much better tool set. I think that in 6G we will have the opportunity to harness more of the potential that we have in the ML solutions and therefore uh, enhance the uh, network performance. We are here now at the lab, uh, where we can see how the AI native air interface uh, demo works in the real life. First of all, on the right, uh, we have a spectrum analyzer showing the transmit signal spectra. On the other spectrum analyzer, on the left, you can see how the received signal looks like. Now we can look at the performance of the different air interface options. We can see the signal to noise ratio, which represents the signal quality. Then we have another graph on the top right, uh, which shows the, how many errors the different air interface options are making. We can see that the red curve, which represents the AI native air interface, we have a much uh, reduced bit error rate compared to the 5G air interface, which is of course what we want. Then we can also see quite radical improvement in the block error rate performance. In this case, uh, the AI native air interface is making almost no errors at all in, in detecting the different packets that are being transmitted. On the bottom right, we can see the throughput estimate for the different air interface options. AI native air interface can improve the throughput by uh, between 20 and 30%, maybe even close to 40% in certain cases. This is a fundamentally different way of implementing the network. We can allow the network itself to learn what to do instead of having a huge team of engineers designing all aspects of the system. A learning network in a factory could be configured to support industrial sensors at one moment, then reconfigured to support robotic systems or video surveillance. With the ability to handle various different scenarios, a flexible AI native air interface could very well change the face of network optimization. Uh, when we increase the spectral efficiency, that also means that we have more options in uh, balancing between the, uh, the power efficiency and the throughput. That means that we can transmit the same amount of data with less power consumption, basically. We have been uh, developing uh, two different 6G proof of concepts with NTT and Docomo gives us uh, lots of valuable feedback uh, from them, which is very important. I think there is a lot of opportunities there and we are only scratching the surface at the moment. 